Hello everyone, it's Nick here again. We're looking at a pinball game. Now when football meets pinball, we get soccer pinball. But should those two ever be meeting in the first place? We'll soon find out. This is Soccer Pinball on the Commodore 64, published by Codemasters in 1992. I've already reviewed this on the ZX Spectrum and I quite liked it there, although sometimes the flippers weren't the most responsive in the world. So we'll see how it fares on this one as well. Now, I think the playfield should be identical to the Spectrum version, but no doubt the ball physics will be slightly different. It's one to two players. I'm the only person here, so we'll do one player, and it does look very similar. So we'll launch the ball here. Essentially, we've got four, well, two sets of flippers, two down the bottom. Yeah, the, the flippers are stuck already, so this could be interesting. Um, two flippers down the bottom, one up the top left and one down the, uh, well, one the mid left and one at the top right there. Lots of things to do on this. There's some gates there you can see in black, uh, three pop bumpers next to that going across the top. And on the top left, there's lots of white circles. You can see they're footballs. If we can get all them, we can get a bonus. Um, essentially, first of all, we need to... Oh man, this feels weird. Uh, first of all, we need to get the uh, ball to hit those three defenders actually on the pitch. Uh, and then get rid of the goalkeeper and then score a goal up the other end. If the ball drops through our goal at the bottom there, then we're, we're not doing very well. Uh, flippers are very sticky. Um, I don't think you can do them very... Yeah, they, yeah. They, it feels like this table needs an oil. Yeah. Uh, pfft. Why does it make a fart sound when the ball goes in? It, pfft, that's going to happen a lot, I think. Pfft. Ding dong. Okay, right. Um, it's not as good as the Spectrum version so far, but let's let's see. The ball's is pinging around. Uh, it looks a bit see-through, doesn't it, that ball? No excuse for that. Right, there we go. Good. Hit the pop bumper there. Let's try and get rid of some of these defenders. We've got two left. Whoops. Actually, some of the rebounds are very similar to the Spectrum version. We reviewed a few um, pinball games on the Commodore 64. Let me know what your favourite one is. We did Dave's Midnight Magic. All the fire extinguishers turned up. And uh, Night Mission was one we did also. The earliest game we've covered is on the Atari uh, ST, which is Video Pinball. Uh, you had a square ball in that one, so we, we're seeing all the eras. No doubt we'll recover, we'll recover every pinball table ever done at some stage, but I'll be a very old man by that point. Yeah, I'm not liking this a great deal. It looks quite pretty, and I like those cutscenes between each ball, but it's, um, the, the flippers are too sticky. They take a while to, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to be coming back to this one. It's, it's all right. Look, but just gets too gets stuck too much and uh, really on a pinball table you want quick flippers that work every time you press the button you don't want a delay there you don't want them stopping because uh, it's all built on a good pinball table it's all built on reflexes and that builds your enjoyment and the addictiveness level of this and it looks like it's too easy to lose the ball we'll have a few goes though game over three balls per game if you had this one back in the day let me know codemasters 1992 um, I think it came out on the Commodore Amiga as well, so we might catch up with that. I'm not 100% sure about that. I need to do a bit more research. But essentially, all you have on this is three keys. Um, and that's it, really. Launch the ball, left flipper, right flipper. Dilly din din din. Good incidental music. Uh, Spectrum didn't have... Or did it have that? I'm losing my mind now. You can vary the strength on the plunger. It doesn't make a great deal of difference before you launch the ball. Where it goes is a little bit random. Oh, try to get through the gates there. On the Spectrum uh, gameplay, I did actually um, get rid of those three defenders from the main playing field. Maybe you just need to be extra calm here. And I did score a goal as well, and it flashed up. Goal! Um, with all those O's in it. See, there's a bunk, there's a blue sort of like horseshoe thing, slightly angled towards the uh, flippers there on the uh, right. If you get the ball there, it says throw on some extra points. Oh man. Oh, that was lucky. I thought I was going to go then. I'd like to get some of those footballs in the top left. So see if we can get the ball to hit that. Once we clear those, if we hit the, uh, the small bumper behind that, we get some bonus points, I believe. So there's quite a few things to do, but it's not very easy to do it because uh, the control mechanism is so iffy. 
it's a little bit flawed. It's a little bit flawed, isn't it, really? As usual, if you loved this game back in the day, because nostalgia always, in particular with retro gaming, nostalgia always has a massive uh, impact on it. There's games I've absolutely hated, because um, it's the first time I've seen them, where if you had those back in the day as a kid, it's the memories you buy into it as well, takes you back to a certain time, so you might have liked that. And we've all got we've all got games like that, haven't we, really? So there we go. If you haven't got nostalgia, you can only judge it for what's in front of you compared to other games you've seen. Right. Um, right, we've got one last defender to take out of play. Hopefully we can do it. Let's try and calm down. Whoop, well, I had a chance there. That flipper's got stuck. I didn't mean to do that. Just do it at the last minute, I think. If you do too much flipper action, I think it's going to catch up with you. That always goes up that, that narrow angle. Just want to... Let's throw on, throw in, hit that last defender and the goalkeeper will disappear. We want to score goals. Go! Right, could be a chance here. Boing. No! I'm just knocking it from side to side now. This is not good play. Not good play by me. Bub. Yes, got some of the balls. One ball left up that side. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, do your own sound effects. <laughs> right, that's enough of that sound effect. That's getting too much. Game over, game over, boy. I think we'll have one last go on it. See if I can score a goal or uh, anything, really. I bet player two would have been really good at this, but player two, as per usual, is not here. It's nicely designed, isn't it, the playfield? It like, looks quite pretty. I mean, although Night Mission on the Commodore 64 played a lot better than this, it was in monochrome, so it does look more advanced in that in that way. But uh, the playability isn't quite there. If you like pinball, though, you'll probably like this for a bit of a historic point of view. But it will inevitably frustrate you if you're used to playing other pinball games too. Um, there's a few um, pinball games on the ZX Spectrum I've covered, which I need to cover on the Commodore 64 as well. We'll probably do those on Thursday. I think Microballs one, uh, Pinball Power or 3D Pinball, and th th there's a few of them about there. Is there any other great ones I haven't covered yet, which um, was your favourites? Let me know, and I'll probably add that to the list. Oh, yes, right, we've got all those balls. So let's see that pop bumper there on the very top left. That's now flashing now. If we hit that, we get bonus points. If I can get the ball back up there again. Uh, but don't seem to get the ball up there very often, do I? Oh, right. Okay, so one defender left on the on the main pitch as well. So two things going on here. I've sort of activated. Get that last defender or the ball up. No! Oh, that was lucky. Hit the pin in the middle. Come on, I'd love to take that last defender out. Not to dinner, obviously, but off the pitch. Just oof, being a bit lucky that sent a pin. And again. Yes. Oh, I thought it was going to get him then. That defender's been very stubborn in the middle. Boop. <laughs> so look at that. As soon as I get to take the flip. Oh, there. We're going to lose that ball. Oh, that was clever. Thought I was going to lose that straight away. So I, you can't do that on many pinball tables, 8 bit. I stopped the ball dead. Come on. Just need that last offender or get the ball into the top left for bonus points or whatever it does. Boob. Oh no, I've lost track of how many balls I've got. Ball lost. I don't think there's a multi-ball on this, not that I've discovered anyway. Now, if I'm lucky, that hit the defender as it goes down. Yes, no. Oh, I don't like, I don't like the ball. Yeah, oh. I don't like the ball going too fast, then you start losing control of it, losing sight of it. Oh, look at that. And I didn't take out the last defender. Curses. Curses Super Blast. So this game is very, very average, I would say. No real reason to track it down if you're a Commodore 64 fan. There's our better examples around there. It'll leave you swearing a lot, even if you're a person that doesn't normally swear. And it's it's gone down again. I think that was my last ball. I believe it was. There we go. So we're going to the game over bit there. Yes. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that. We won't have another goal. We don't want to add extra pain into it. But that was Soccer Pinball on the Commodore 64, published by Codemasters in 1992. 
Got any thoughts about this game, uh, any pinball games or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. A huge thank you to everyone that's subscribed to the channel so far and helping it grow. If you haven't already, please consider doing so. That would be a big help. If you want to help it a little bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every little bit really does assist. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.